Google search crack you CMAT mock test. Click on the first link and get 5 CMAT mock tests in the latest pattern. Also, check out the 5 testnet mock tests in the latest pattern. After submitting the mock, you can get detailed solutions with analysis. You can also find the previous year's papers on testnet and CMAT along with solutions and detailed explanations. Hello everyone, welcome to Cracko video series. This video is a part of our GK video series. So in this video, we are going to discuss some important current affairs questions from 5th to 11th December 2022. So these are some of the important GK questions which are very helpful to prepare for MBA entrance exams such as ZAT, CMAT and TISNET. So apart from this, we are also providing the crash courses for these exams. In addition to this, we are also providing the mock tests and the previous year's papers on our website cracko.in. The links for the crash courses, mock tests and the previous year's papers are given in the description. So please check them out. Now let's move on to the video. So here we have the first question. India's first innovation lab for debt collection was launched by the correct answer is Spocto that is option C. Spocto introduces India's first debt collection innovation lab, the world's leading full stack debt support and risk mitigation platform. Spocto has inaugurated India's first innovation lab. SIL dedicated to the debt collection segment of banking industries in India and the Middle East. Next, who became the new chairperson of NCBC that is National Commission for Backward Classes in December 2022? The correct answer is Hansaraj Gangaram Ahir that is option B. Former Union Minister Hansaraj Gangaram Ahir has assumed charge as chairperson of the National Commission for Backward Classes NCBC. He is an agriculturist by profession. Next. India's first passive tax saver fund was launched by the correct answer is IIFL mutual fund that is option A. IIFL mutual fund has launched India's first passive tax saver fund almost six months after the Securities and Exchange Boards of India that is SEBI introduced the passive alternative in the equity linked savings scheme that is ELSS space and next what is the rank of India in global aviation safety rankings 2022 the correct answer is 48th rank that is option D according to DGCA officials India has jumped to 48th position in the global aviation safety ranking by international civil aviation organization that is ICAO four years ago the country was ranked at 102nd position Next, as per the World Bank, which of the following became the first country in the world to receive $100 billion from remittance in 2022? The correct answer is India, that is option B. India will be the first country in the world to receive $100 billion from remittance during 2022, the World Bank has said. And next, International Conference on the Contribution of J.C. Bose, a Satyagrahi scientist, was held in Dash during December 2022. The correct answer is New Delhi that is option A. On the occasion of 164th birth anniversary of legendary Indian scientist Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose and as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsava, Vigyana Bharati and Ministry of Culture, Government of India organized an international conference on the contribution of J.C. Bose, a Satyagrahi scientist at Inter-University Accelerator Center, New Delhi. And next, a Guinness World Record by constructing the longest double-decker was successfully made by Dash in December 2022. The correct answer is Nagpur Metro, that is option C. Nagpur Metro has successfully created a Guinness World Record by constructing the longest double-decker Viaduct Metro in 3140 meters and was achieved by the Vardha Road in Nagpur. Next, an ocean wave energy converter named Sinduja 1 was developed by researchers of which of the following organizations? The correct answer is IIT Madras, that is option A. Indian Institute of Technology Madras researchers have developed an ocean wave energy converter that can generate electricity from sea waves. The trials of this device were successfully completed during the second week of November 2022. The product has been named Sinduja 1 which means generated from the ocean. And next, who became the new chairman of NABARD, National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development in December 2022? The correct answer is Shaji KV that is option C. Shaji KV has been named chairman of the National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development. He formerly NABAR's deputy managing director till May 21, 2020. He is an agriculture graduate with a PGDM in public policy from the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. And next, which of the following was the most frequently searched on Google in India in the year 2022? The correct answer is 
IPL Indian Premier League that is option D Indian Premier League IPL which was also the most searched sporting event in the nation came out on top of all 2022 trending Google search results in India next the goblin mode as the word of year 2022 was chosen by the correct answer is Oxford Dictionary that is option B and next who won the Prime Minister's Prize for excellence in science teaching in Australia the correct answer is Veena Nair that is option A Indian origin teacher Veena Nair in Australia has received the 2022 Prime Minister's Prize for excellence in science teaching in secondary schools Melbourne based Veena Nair who is Viewbank College's Head of Technology and STEAM project leader has been awarded for demonstrating practical application of STEAM to students and how they can use their skills to make a real impact in the world. And next, who was elected as the first female president of TTFI Table Tennis Federation of India? The correct answer is Meghna Ahlawat that is option B. Next, India's first drone training conference was inaugurated by the correct answer is Anurag Thakur that is option B towards empowering and mobilizing farmers across the nation with the use of agri drones information and broadcasting minister Anurag Singh Thakur inaugurated India's first drone skilling and training with virtual e-learning platform at the Chennai manufacturing facility of the Garuda Aerospace a drone based startup of India and finally what is the rank of India in the world's strongest passport list 2022 published by Aton Capital the correct answer is 87th position that is option D passport index 2022 published by Ayrton capital ranked the world's strongest and weakest passports India was ranked 87th position in the world's strongest passport list our first question is India's first carbon neutral form inaugurated in which of the following states and the correct answer is Kerala which is option B Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan declared a seed farm located in Aluwa as the first carbon neutral farm in the country. Next, which of the following countries printed the first banknotes with two women's signatures in December 2022? The correct answer is US, United States. The new currency notes of $1 and $5 value carry the signature of the Secretary of Treasury that is American Finance Minister Janet Yellen and Lynn Malerba. Next, who became the new Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh? The correct answer is Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu, which is option B. Sukhvinder Sukhu became the new Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. Mukesh Agnihotri became the Deputy Chief Minister of the state. And next, as per the Huron Global 500 rankings released in December 2022, what is the rank of India in the list of valuable companies? And the correct answer is fifth which is option d it is stopped by the united states hence the option is d and next world's first commercial moon lander was launched by which of the following countries and the correct answer is japan japan's ispace launches world's first commercial moon lander japan is elated and proud of its space startup that successfully launched a spacecraft to the moon recently next who became the chief minister of gujarat in december 2022 the answer is Bupendra Patel which is option D Bupendra Patel became the chief minister of Gujarat in December 2022 Bupendra Patel was sworn in as the 18th chief minister of Gujarat on Monday in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi senior union ministers and several chief ministers of the BJP rule states next Mopa International Airport has been renamed on the name of which of the following persons the answer is Manohar Parikar which is option B this airport is located in Goa and it was inaugurated by Narendra Modi next who was elected as the first woman president of Indian Olympic Association and the answer is PT Usha which is option A you sharing in a new era in the country's sports administration the legendary PT Usha was on December 10th elected as the first woman president of Indian Olympic Association next the first G20 finance and central bank deputies meeting was held in dash and the answer is Bengaluru which is option D next world's first tobacco law to ban smoking was passed by the answer is New Zealand which is option D the New Zealand government on 13th December passed a law to completely end tobacco smoking by banning youth from buying cigarettes for life. Next, the 8th India International Science Festival 2022 will be held in which of the following cities? The answer is Bhopal, which is option B. 
India International Science Festival, shortly called IISF 2022, will be held in Bhopal in January 2023. And incidentally, it is one of the major events to be held after India took over G20 presidency. IISF is the initiative of Ministry of Science and Technology and Ministry of Earth Science of Government of India in association with Vijnana Bharati, which is a science movement with Swadeshi spirit led by eminent scientists of the country. Next, the first country to auction spectrum for satellite communication is the answer is India, which is option D. India will be the first country to auction spectrum for satellite communication and it should be designed to attract investments in the sector, said by Telecom Regulatory Authority of India Chairman B.D. Vaghela. Next, which of the following country was removed from UN Commission of the United States of Women in December 2022? The correct answer is Iran, that is option C. The resolution decided to remove Iran with immediate effect from the membership in the Commission on the Status of Women for the remainder of its 2022-2026 term. Iran has been rocked by protests since the September 16th death of 22 years old Mahsa Amini, who died after being detained by the country's morality police. Next, which of the following became the official partner of FIH Men's World Cup 2023? Here, the correct answer is Tata Steel, which is option A. Tata Steel Limited signed a MOU with Hockey India on December 13, 2022 to become an official partner of the FIH Odisha Hockey's Men's World Cup 2023. The 15th edition of the esteemed event will take place in Bhuneshwar and Roorkela from January 13th to January 29th of 2023. If you can see the first question, who became the Prime Minister of Ireland in December 2022? The correct answer is Leo Varadkar, that is option D, Indian origin Leo Varadkar, former Irish Deputy Prime Minister and leader of the Fine Gael Party, has been elected as the new Prime Minister of Ireland after a vote in the lower House of Parliament. And next, on 1st July 2023, who will become the President of Harvard University? The correct answer is Claudine Gay, that is option A, Harvard University announced that Claudine Gay will become its new president. She will begin her duty as the university's 30th president on July 1st, 2023. And next, who has been appointed as the first chancellor of Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya Vadodara? The correct answer is Ashwini Vaishnav, that is option C. Union Minister of Railways Ashwini Vaishnav has been appointed as the Chancellor of Gati Shakti Vishwa Vidyalaya Vadodara by President Srimati Draupadi Murmu. It is noteworthy to mention that the Sri Ashwini Vaishnav will be the first Chancellor of Gati Shakti Vishwa Vidyalaya. And next, Mission SWAT for the Survey of Earth's Water was launched by Dash. The correct answer is NASA, that is option B. The United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA and the French Space Agency Center National D. Etudes Specialist, that is CNES, has jointly launched the newest surface water and ocean topography spacecraft to track nearly all the water on the surface of the Earth. And next, who won Miss World 2022 title? The correct answer is Sargam Kaushal, that is option C. Sargam Kaushal represented India and was elected Miss World in Las Vegas on December 18, 2022. Miss Kaushal defeated competitors from 63 nationals to reclaim the crown for India after 21 years. And next, what is the global minimum tax adopted by European Union on big business? The correct answer is 15%, that is option A. The European Union has adopted a plan for global minimum 15% tax on big business. The landmark deal between nearly 140 countries aims to stop governments racing to cut taxes in a bid to attack companies. It was prized by US Treasury Secretary Janet Ellen as an historic agreement which helps even the playing field. And next, the 599th meeting of Central Board of RBI was held in which of the following cities? The correct answer is Kolkata, that is option B. The 599th meeting of the board was held in Kolkata on December 16th, 2022. The meeting was chaired by RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das. And next, PETA, India's 2022% of year title was awarded to Dash. The correct answer is Sonakshi Sinha, that is option D. Bollywood actress Sonakshi Sinha has been awarded PETA, India's 2022% of the year title. Sonakshi's actions helped save the lives of many animals killed for fashion, but her strong 
advocacy for dog and cat rights earned her the title. She is actively involved in animal welfare activities and regularly voices out the need for stronger animal protection laws. And next, the 30th World Trade Organization Ministerial Meeting in 2024 will be held in Dash. The correct answer is UAE. That is option C. The next World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference will be held in Abu Dhabi, UAE, United Arab Emirates in February 2024. The UAE and Cameroon were both willing to host the event and came to an informal agreement for Abu Dhabi to host the first one and Cameroon to do the next. And next, India's first surety bond insurance for infrastructure projects was launched by Dash. The correct answer is Nitin Gadkari, Gadkari, that is option B, to enhance the participation of contractors in project bids, freeing collaterals in between to support the working capital requirements. Union Road, Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari has launched the first of its kind surety bond insurance on December 19, 2022 for the infrastructure sector. And next, India's first infantry museum opened in which of the following states? The correct answer is Madhya Pradesh that is option D. The first phase of infantry museum has been completed while the working on the second phase in underway. The country's first infantry museum will be inaugurated in Amho Cantonment in Indore district of Madhya Pradesh on December 16, 2022. And next, a novel Kala Pani got Sahitya Academy Award 2022 was written by M. Rajendran in which of the following languages? The correct answer is Tamil that is option C. And next, the first ever World Table Tennis Series event in India will be hosted by Dash. The correct answer is Goa, that is option A. Panaji, the capital of Goa, will host the India's first ever World Table Tennis Series event. The World Table Tennis Star Contender Goa 2023 tournament has been scheduled from February 27th to March 5th at the Syama Prasad Mukherjee Indoor Stadium located in the Goa University campus situated in the Sajran Telaigao neighborhood. And next, who became the new Prime Minister of Nepal on 25th December 2022? The correct answer is Bidya Devi Bandari, that is option C. President Bidya Devi Bandari on Sunday appointed CPN Maoist Center Chairman Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda as the new Prime Minister of Nepal. Next who was awarded the BBC Sports Personality of the year 2022. The correct answer is Beth Miyad. Beth Miyad has been awarded the BBC Sports Personality of the year 2022 as she was the player of the tournament top scorer at Euro 2022. Beth Miyad defeated Germany in the finals at Webley to win England's first major women's football trophy. And next, who was awarded the Win Future Special Prize 2022? The correct answer is Talapil Pradeep, that is option A. Talapil Pradeep receives Win Future Special Prize 2022. Indian scientist Professor Talapil Pradeep, Indian Institute of Trade, Madras, received Win Future Special Prize on 20th December 2022. And next, which of the following organizations headquarters won Green Building Award of the Griha Exemplary Performance Award 2022? The correct answer is Uday, that is option C. The Unique Identification Authority of India, Uday, has won the prestigious Griha Exemplary Performance Award 2022, a top national level green building award. And next, which of the following players became the most expensive player of IPL 2023 after breaking all the previous records? The correct answer is Sam Curran, that is option D. Sam Curran was signed by Punjab Kings for the whopping 18.5 crores at IPL 2023 auction in Kochi on Friday. He is now the most expensive player ever in the IPL. Going past Chris Morris, who held the record before Friday's auction, Curran's base price was 2 crores. And next, which of the following companies won the award of Best Globally Competitive Power Company of India 2022 in hydropower and renewable energy sector? The correct answer is NHPC, that is option B. NHPC Limited has been awarded as the winner of the Best Globally Competitive Power Company of India Hydropower and Renewable Energy Sector at Prakash May 15th Energia Awards 2022 we have the first question who was elected as the new prime minister of fiji in december 2022 the correct answer is sitiveni rabuka that is option c sitiveni rabuka was confirmed as fiji's next prime minister more than two decades after the former military commander first held the office in a term lasting nearly seven years in the 55 member parliament of fiji sitiveni rabuka secured 28 votes against Baini marma's 27 votes 
Next, the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, constituted a committee to conduct accessibility audit of Supreme Court premises. It is headed by, the correct answer is Justice S. Ravindra Bhatt, that is option A. In a bid to remove the barriers to access, Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, has constituted a committee headed by Apex Court Justice S. Ravindra Bhatt to conduct an audit of physical and functional access of the top court premises to make them disabled friendly. And the next question, to deal with the acute cardiac problems, artificial heart was developed by which of the following institutes? The correct answer is IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur is ready with an artificial heart that would be of great help to people with acute cardiac problems. IIT Kanpur Director Abhay Karandikar said that the trial on animals would begin next year. Next, who inaugurated the Sports Science Center at Udupi, Karnataka in December 2022? The correct answer is Anurag Thakur, that is option B. Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports Anurag Thakur inaugurated the Sports Science Center here at MG Stadium in Udupi, Karnataka. The Sports Science Center will bring together sports scientists and athletes. The Sports Science Center has been set up by Government of Karnataka. The next question is, which of the following is the only Indian sports person in the Forbes Annual 2022 list of highest paid female athletes? The correct answer is PV Sindhu, that is option D. India's badminton star PV Sindhu is the only Indian sports person to feature in the top 25 of Forbes Annual list of world's highest paid female athletes. And the next, the 10th edition of North East Festival was started in, the correct answer is New Delhi, that is option A. The 10th edition of the North East Festival began at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi. The festival aims to promote the North East region's diverse life, culture, tradition and tourism. Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Minister Narayan Rane inaugurated the MSME exhibition at the North East Festival. Next, Right to Repair Portal for Consumers was launched by, the correct answer is Piyush Goyal, that is option C. Food and Consumer Affairs Minister Piyush Goyal launched a host of new initiatives including the Right to Repair Portal and an NTH mobile app and opened new premises of National Consumer Helpline Center in the national capital. And next, the first case of deadly brain-eating amoeba infection was reported in which of the following countries in December 2022? The correct answer is South Korea, that is option D. For the first time ever, a rare and potentially fatal brain-eating amoeba has been discovered in South Korea. Primary amoebic meningoencephalistics, shortly called PAM, is a rare and serious infection caused by the amoeba Negleria foleri, which is commonly found in warm fresh water and soil. And next, who is appointed as the new CEO of Railway Board? The correct answer is Anil Kumar Lahoti, that is option C. Anil Kumar Lahoti has appointed as the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of Railway Board. And next, who is appointed as the new CEO of FSSAI? The correct answer is Ganji Kamala V. Rao, that is option D. Shri Ganji Kamala V. Rao IAS has been appointed as the Chief Executive Officer of the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India shortly called FSSAI. Shri Ganji Kamala V. Rao IAS is currently serving as the Managing Director of Indian Tourism Development Corporated Limited. Next, who has been appointed as the new Chairman of NHAI, National Highways Authority of India? The correct answer is Santosh Kumar Yadav, that is option B. And next, as per CEBR, Center for Economics and Business Research, India will become the $10 trillion economy by which of the following year? The correct answer is 2035, that is option D. Agencies, the report also played down concerns over high inflation, saying it has remained lower than in most other large economies. India will become the, India will become the third economic superpower by 2037 and a $10 trillion economy by 2035. Next, the list of best cuisines of the world 2022 was topped by, the correct answer is Italy. That is option C. Italian cuisine earned the top spot while Canadian cuisine near the bottom of the list. And next, the 30th Ekalabhya Puraskar for the year 2022 was won by. The correct answer is Swasti Singh. That is option B. The Ekalabhya Puraskar for the year 2022 was presented to cyclist Swasti Singh. 
This award is given every year to encourage young sporting talents. Next, which of the following states topped in the average monthly income per agricultural household? The correct answer is Meghalaya, that is option D. As per information, Meghalaya tops across the country with average monthly income per agricultural household, that is 29,348 rupees. Next, first Bekal International Beach Festival was hosted by which of the following states? The correct answer is Kerala, that is option B. The Spice Coast in the far north of Kerala, better known as North Malabar, basked in myriad colors and the pomp and splendor of the cultural extravaganza titled Bekal International Beach Festival. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan has inaugurated the 10th day first beach festival that captures the wholeness and the essence of the district's culture and artistic uniqueness and displays the rich culture, diversity and grandeur of the country at the majestic Bekal Beach Park. Next, which of the following institutes won Wharton QS Reimagine Education Award 2022? The correct answer is IIT Madras, that is option D. The Wharton QS Reimagine Education Awards, also known as the Oscars of Education, gave significant recognition to the Indian Institute of Technology Madras. Next, which of the following became the first Indian state to pass the Loka Yukta Bill? The correct answer is Maharashtra, that is option B. Maharashtra Assembly has passed the Loka Yukta Bill 2022, which brings the Chief Minister and Council of Ministers under the ambit of anti-corruption ombudsman. Next, Prahari app was launched by which of the following person? The correct answer is Amit Shah, that is option D. Union Home Minister Amit Shah launched the Prahari mobile app and Manual of Border Security Force BSF in New Delhi. The Prahari app will enable Javans to access personal information and information related to accommodation, Ayushman, CAPF and leaves on their mobile. Next, the G20 Digital Innovation Alliance in December 2022 was launched by? The correct answer is Ashwini Vaishnav, that is option C. The G20 Digital Innovation Alliance was launched by Minister of Electronics and Information Technology Communications, Sri Ashwini Vaishnav as part of India's G20 Presidency. And next, first Garb app was made by Ames Delhi for pregnant women with which of the following institutes? The correct answer is IIT Roorkee, that is option D. To create the Swastgarb app, the Indian Institute of Roorkee and the All India Institute of Medical Sciences Ames New Delhi work it together so the pregnant women can access antenatal care and real-time medical support through the smartphone app. Next, Nijat campaign of which of the following states got IACP 2022 award. The correct answer is Chhattisgarh, that is option A. Next, which of the following states high court banned mobile phones in the temples? The correct answer is Tamil Nadu, that is option D. The Madurai bench of Madras high court has prohibited devotees for carrying mobile phones inside temples in Tamil Nadu. The division bench of Justice R. Mahadevan and J. Satyanarayana Prasad held that the gadgets divert the attention of devotees from the purpose of visiting the temple. And next, Juwari Bridge which is India's second longest cable stayed 8 lane bridge opened in which of the following states in December 2022. The correct answer is Goa, that is option B. Next, in FIFA World Cup, Golden Boot Award 2022 was won by the correct answer is Kilian Bappe, that is option C. So these are some of the important GK current affairs which are very helpful for MBA entrance exams preparation. You can also download the entire PDF. The link for this PDF is given in the description. So please check it out. For more important updates, please like the video and subscribe the channel. So thank you so much guys and all the best.